Hello guys and welcome back to our channel Rescue Digital Media. Today, in this video, I will show you how to fix unable to reset your PC. A required drive partition is missing with 6 quick fixes. But before that, like, subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified when our new video lands. Unable to reset your PC. A required drive partition is missing error is caused due to corrupt MBR or BCD issue with your computer disk, missing or damaged system files, required drive partition is missing. Now, let's move on to fix this issue. Solution 1, run Bootrek. EXE. Correcting the MBR or BCD record with the help of Bootrek can help you fix the error. Insert Windows installation disk, DVD, or a bootable USB drive into your computer. Restart PC and press the F2 slash F12 slash Dell key to bring up the boot menu. Select either the DVD or the USB disk from the boot menu. Wait for the computer to boot into the Windows installation or recovery DVD. Select install Windows from the screen that appears and then select repair your computer. From the repair menu, select troubleshoot, advanced options, command prompt. In the command prompt that opens, Issue the following command one by one followed by enter, bootrek slash fixbur, bootrek slash fixboot, a trib c colon backslash boot backslash bcdhrs ren, c colon backslash boot backslash bcd c colon backslash boot backslash bcd, bak, bootrek slash rebuild. Solution 2, run sfc, system file checker. To your relief, the Windows System File Checker tool is able to repair missing or corrupted system files for you. Here are the steps to follow. Press Windows plus X keys. Click Search. And type CMD in the search box. Right click on Command Prompt. And select Run as Administrator. Then type the SFC slash ScanNow command to repair the missing or corrupted system files that causing unable to reset PC error and hit Enter. Solution 3, Run Automatic Startup Repair Startup Repair is a fantastic idea to initiate the fixing process for errors like the unable to reset your PC or required drive partition is missing. Boot your PC into the BIOS and make the bootable drive you created first on the boot order. Save and exit the BIOS and restart your PC. Launch the installation of Windows and set the language, date, and time. In the next window select the Repair Your Computer option in the bottom left hand of the screen. Now select the Troubleshoot option. In the Troubleshoot window, select Advanced Options. Once in Advanced Options select Startup Repair. Let the Startup Repair be done and then restart your PC. Solution 4, Set System Partition as Active. Here's how you can activate system partition by using a Windows utility called Diskpart. Press Windows plus X keys. Click search and type CMD in the search box. Right click on command prompt. And select run as administrator. Type in the following commands first, Diskpart. List disk. Now a list of disks on your device will be shown. Select the partition that is giving you the problem by typing. Select Disk 0. List Partition. Select Partition 0. Active. The partition in question will now have become active. Solution 5. Check your hard drive. Here are detailed steps to follow. Restart your computer while holding Shift key to enter Advanced Startup. Choose Troubleshot. And then Advanced Options. When you get the following interface, choose Command Prompt. In Command Prompt, input the following commands and press Enter key after each to fix NBR, Bootrek slash Rebuild, Bootrek slash Fixbur, Bootrek slash Fixboot. To check the file system of your hard drive, you need to run chkdsk command as well. Just enter chkdsk slash r refers to the drive letter of the specific partition for which you want to check file system, and press enter. Run chkdsk command for every partition. Then, restart your computer to check if the issue is removed. 
Data Recovery Tool Recover any of your lost data files on system, we suggest you use Data Recovery Tool. It would first scan your system and find your missing files. Follow the steps to use Data Recovery Tool. Download, install and launch Data Recovery Tool on your system. And select the drive, external media or volume from which you want to recover deleted media files. After selecting, click on Scan. Next, you can preview the recoverable media files after the scanning process is completed. Lastly, you can select the images, audio, video files you want to restore, and click on Recover option to save them at the location you want. Find its download and user guide links in the below description box. That's all. Hope you liked this video.